watching the electric heater glow bright red during a December night in Baguio, it made me wonder, why do hot objects glow? Well, it's actually plain simple. When an object comes into contact with heat, the absorption of thermal energy excites the electron to a higher orbital, which then emits light upon returning to its ground state. I'll demonstrate. This is a tungsten filament bulb. Currently, it's not emitting visible light. But as I send electric currents to the filament to increase its temperature, you will notice how it starts to turn yellow. What you have just observed is a phenomenon called black body radiation. Now, why is it called a black body in the first place? Since we associate black with light absorption, this was later assigned to a material that could theoretically absorb light at all wavelengths and emit radiation. However, no material can truly be a black body, and it doesn't have to be a perfect black body to absorb and emit radiation. In fact, all materials at absolute zero emit infrared light. Let me explain. This is a black body. It's not entirely black, but effectively, its dark interior indicates that all entering light is absorbed. We are only at room temperature that its radiation falls in the infrared range, which isn't visible to the human eye. Fun fact! Do you know that our planet behaves like a black body? The Earth emits long-wave radiation primarily in the infrared range. Like sunlight, it also gets absorbed by greenhouse gases which warms the atmosphere and contributes to global warming. Moreover, using the Stefan-Boltzmann law, we can determine that the Earth emits 1.99 times 10 raised to 17 watts of energy. Now, you might be wondering, why is black body radiation important? In the 19th century, the Rayleigh-Jeans law was used to model the black body spectrum. However, if you set the wavelength to zero, its intensity is expected to produce infinitesimal amounts of radiation, a paradox dubbed as the ultraviolet catastrophe. Of course, this isn't true. Otherwise, we would all be cooked in UV radiation if the sun, a black body, emits radiation of that force. To debunk this contradiction, Max Planck proposed that the energy of electromagnetic waves emitted by electrons are quantized. The real mind-blowing idea here is that energy is quantized, such that a car can only travel at certain speeds provided by its engine power. Likewise, a black body would also emit energy at a certain frequency and wavelength because its electrons can only have discrete values. So the next time you think of glowing objects, Remember that any material emits electromagnetic radiation, but only in quantized amounts as a consequence of its temperature.